Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And as a lot of you know, I don't always like to do just flagship devices. I like to cover some unknown companies and budget devices. And that is the case with this video, the new mobile X5, which is currently $200 on Amazon. Now I will link to it down below. I do wanna give a shout out to new mobile for sending this guy over to unbox and also for sponsoring this video. Let's get started. So first of all, they sent over a couple goodies as well in the box for me. You'll see new mobile sunglasses and a new mobile pen as well. But let's get to what you're here for. The new X5 device um, on the side here gives you some information about it. Fingerprint scanner, 32 gig storage, three gigs of RAM, and you'll see one year limited warranty as well. So sliding this on down, and we can set that to the side. And we do have the device right here. So we can pull the tab and the device will actually just slide right out. New mobile, here we go. And I will go ahead and set this to the side for just a second. And I wanna show you what's in the box real quick. We'll take up too much of your time with this. And here we go. So first of all, inside, gives you some information on how to contact them. A screen protector, always nice to have some extra goodies in here. And then how to install, and then getting started with your new mobile X5. You also see a SIM ejection tool. And then finally, you have another box in here, which I'm being very crude with. And you've got more goodies. New mobile includes a case for your phone. Again, great, they're including some extra goodies in here. You do have headphones as well, because this does have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Some extra earbuds if you have different size ears. And then of course you have your AC adapter and your USB type A to micro USB charging cable. So let's peel off some of these protectors. 5.5 inch 1080p display on the front. So peel that off. And then we have one on the back as well. Let you guys check that out. And I also don't wanna skip this, but it is option one of dual SIM, or you can have a SIM card and a micro SD so you can expand that 32 gigs of internal storage. Go ahead and power on the device. See if that 2,950 milliamp hour battery it has some charge, and it does. Powered by Android down at the bottom. And while it boots up, let's take a close look at this phone. Down at the bottom here, you'll see a speaker. There's your charging port, microphone. On the side here, you do have your volume rockers and power button. This is on the right side. Up at the top, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And then here is where that SIM slot and micro SD card slot is. On the back here, you do have your 13 megapixel rear camera and a fingerprint scanner. And then down at the bottom, it does say new. Flipping it over, you'll see Android is starting. We're ready to go. Gets us to our welcome screen. Down at the bottom, back home, recent app, capacitive buttons up at the top, front facing camera. Looks like an LED flash for that front facing camera and an earpiece and sensors. Right away, I'm noticing this one's a little cold because of the all metal body design, but I'm gonna run through the setup process and only talk about anything noteworthy. So first of all, let's set up that fingerprint scanner on the back. So find that sensor, set our finger down and lift up. I'm just gonna continue that until this fills all the way up. And there we go, fingerprint added. I can add more if I'd like to. I'm gonna skip that process for now. Anyways, it says anything else. I didn't sign into Wi-Fi, I didn't sign into any accounts because I wanna show you guys how much storage is there out of the box, like always in my unboxing videos. So let's go ahead and jump into settings, scroll down, go to storage, and there you go. 7.54 gigs out of the 32 gigs is used right out of the box. And as promised, here's a look at that case on the phone. It covers the buttons here, but they do not seem difficult to press by any means. Cutouts look just fine in terms of reaching that fingerprint scanner, the camera as well. So overall looking good with the case, but here it is. Here is that new mobile X5. That was the fingerprint scanner test. Let's do that again. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it down and you'll see a little bit more of a slight delay compared to other flagships. Again, this is a budget device. In terms of specs, does have a MediaTek MT6750T processor and like I said, three gigabytes of RAM. Overall, looks like a fairly slimmed down version of Android, a couple bloatware apps. Up at the top, swiping down, you do have those quick settings that you can change. You can have a screen recording. Jumping to settings, scrolling down, it does run Android 7.0 Nougat right out of the box. Scrolling down in settings, it looks like you have some additional goodies, such as assistive touch, 
If I turn that on, there's a little icon right here, which I think you can move around, you can. If you tap on it, you have options such as lock screen, game mode, read mode, a bunch of different ones, and you can customize those in the settings. I'm gonna go back, you have smart wake. So we can turn that on, and that would be when your screen is locked and the display is off. So you'll see here, I turn that on, if I double tap, it'll do a quick vibrate and actually turn on that display. Now we can try another one, C for the camera, which it shows an animation. It looks like I need to unlock it, so let me set my finger on that fingerprint scanner. And it opens up that camera, so let's get a couple quick test shots while we're here. It does have the flash on. I'm gonna turn that off for now. All right, so focusing is, there we go. Exposure looks a little better there. Focusing is a little bit slower than I'm used to, but that exposure did a good job on that ball, that light ball. So there we go. You're just gonna have to make sure you hold it still because there's a little bit of a delay in that focusing, but overall it looks pretty good. Once you do get it to focus, you could probably get some good shots. There we go, that would be in a good lighting scenario, of course. Now this is a 13 megapixel camera, and of course with a budget camera, you can't expect flagship quality photos. And then you do have an HDR mode. We can flip to the front facing camera, and I'm actually gonna turn on that flash so you can see it actually flash, and there we go. So it does have front facing flash if you'd like to use that. And finally in settings, there was one more that they added, and that is one handed mode. So let me turn that on and actually uh, use this device one handed. And it looks like you have to slide on the bottom of the screen to activate it. There we go. Uh, so you just swipe over and you'll see you can swap it for the left or the right. Just makes it much easier to use one-handed. Let me hit the back button. There we go. You can use your phone just like normal, just a bit of a smaller screen. I can go home, go into my app drawer, and I'm guessing if I need to get out of it, I can just swipe the other way and it pops it back into full screen mode. So overall, that's my unboxing and some impressions on the new mobile X5. Like I said, $200 on Amazon. All links down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Be sure to click that thumbs up button. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.